welcome to another Doctor Who video here on my channel. In today's video we are exclusively taking a look at the Daypole Dalek Early Collector Set and this review was requested by one of my brand new patrons, so Chris TJ, thank you very much for your contribution and here is the review you asked for. So, with that being said, I am going to be looking at the Collector's Edition Doctor Who action figure set of the Early Daleks from the company Daypole. Okay, so this is the back of the box. As you can see, there's some information there about the long-lost exhibition that was in Wales. It's a real shame it's gone. And you've got some lovely artwork design. It's kind of very reminiscent of the Seventh Doctor's music theme of Doctor Who. And then, of course, there on the sides, we have a Doctor Who logo, which is the kind of taken from the Eighth Doctor movie. And then this is the front, obviously, where Daleks would have sat in there with the backing card as well, and then the side is the same as well on that side. So let's take a look at the actual set. So this is actually one of my favorite Daypole sets that Daypole ever produced, simply because the kind of, the detailing is really, really good, and the imagination is just captured so well. Now these Daleks are based upon many different stories. For example, we have a standard drone Dalek. Here he is with his normal plunger. An exterminator gun of course this is really the Dalek but we see in the power of the Daleks and also evil of the Daleks and we've got this Dalek here which is from power of the Daleks and that Dalek has the mutant scoop which is really awesome we have this Dalek here which has the pyro flame which is from the Daleks master plan and we also have this Dalek here with the time rotor and that is from the chase which is the first doctor story so You've actually got quite a few different Daleks from different stories, and not only that, but you have this amazing background. So if I just take these Daleks out of the way, we'll have a closer look at the Daleks in just a minute. This is the background card that comes with the set. It's uh, based on inside the Dalek city, basically. And I'll bring this forward for you so you can just about see. There's an image there taken from the very first Dalek story, the Daleks. Uh, it's a really lovely design. You've got these uh, triangles up here, which is very reminiscent of the evil of the Daleks. So you've got a lot going on there. Uh, I've always loved it. One thing I've always wanted to do was to buy multiples of these sets and have a, a big display. And uh, you've probably guessed it, I've gone ahead and done so. I will show you at the end of this video my complete collection of early Daleks from the Daybowl collection set. Now this set usually goes for anything from £50 to up to £100, even £120. Uh, it depends really on how many people are bidding for it. But uh, quite often it comes up for about £75, which is like the average price I would say for it. Which, in my opinion, yes it is a bit expensive. When it first came out it would have only been about £30. But you are getting four Daleks and a pretty awesome and pretty robust backing card. Okay, so let's take a closer look at the Daleks again. So this is the first Dalek, the standard Dalek. Articulation with Daypole Daleks is pretty good. The head here rotates 360 degrees, is a bit tight. The eye stalk goes up and down. The plunger arm goes around and round, and so does the gun stalk. Underneath, we have these two wheels accompanied by this front bit here. And when you pull it back, it will scoot forward at a rate of knots and fall off your table so uh, if you're gonna do that just be careful because these Daleks are very very delicate I've uh, often broke these Daleks just by dropping them from a, a very small height and you know there goes your Daleks so this is the standard Dalek which I actually think looks really really nice as it is and you'll see later on in the video my collection of these it just looks really nice so that's the standard Dalek and then moving on to probably my favourite Dalek from this set is the Dalek from the Power of the Daleks, the Mutant Scoop Dalek, which this story has now been animated. I really got behind it and really, really enjoyed it. Now, obviously, the articulation is exactly the same. It also has that pullback motion, so you can still have your Dalek run across the screen there like a maniac. But what's amazing about this is the Mutant Scoop. And I actually think the detailing that Daypole put into this as simple as it is, was absolutely fantastic, and I really, really wished that character options could do something similar. I mean, it can't be that difficult to do, but uh, even from underneath, it looks really, really awesome. So the Dalek mutant there is a kind of greeny blob, and uh, it isn't even that heavy, so it, it does hold up pretty well. 
Moving on, we have the Dalek with the uh, torch or the pyro flame. Now, this one is a little bit top heavy, so you have to twist it around and generally it stays where you want it. Again, articulation is exactly the same, but the color of the amber of the flame just looks absolutely amazing and it is really, really long. If you compare it to the standard Dalek there, you can just see just how long that flame arm is. And uh, I've got a few of these, so it really does capture that scene in, uh, is it Kemble? When they're burning down the forest so again a fantastic Dalek and a well I'll keep saying it this set is fantastic and finally we have the rotor scope Dalek or however you want to say it it's the Dalek with a time rotor this is taken from the story of a chase and again articulation is exactly the same and you can just about see if I get some uh, unblurry image there the timer is set at midnight or 12 o'clock um, so obviously it's like an egg timer and it, it does what it does. There's no articulation at this bit here. I would I would have hoped that maybe that could kind of go up and down, but of course it would probably break and be too uh, brittle. So that is the time rotor Dalek. And when you have all these Daleks together, um, as you saw in the beginning of this video, and as I'll do for you now, you've only bought one set and you've already got yourself a, a mini army here of, uh, of Daleks, which is really, really nice. And you know I'm all about army building on this uh, YouTube channel, so, with that being said, I'm going to show you now my complete army of early Daleks from the early Daleks gift set. Okay, so here is my complete army of Daleks from the Daleks early gift set. I've even got another backdrop here. This is the one I've just kind of reviewed for you, a coupled with those two there, and I believe I've got another one lying around somewhere. But I decided to just display two of them for now because that's all I can fit on this small little shelf. So as you can see, this top little shelf here is actually the top of my new cabinet that I got recently from Lidl's of all places. And it houses all my Daypole Daleks and whatnot. So it looks quite nice to have these displayed on the top. So let's take a closer look. Okay, so from left to right, we have six Daleks there that are all standard from the uh, set with just the plunger arms. And then we have uh, three of those with the time rotor scope. We also have another three from the Power of a Dalek with the Mutant Scoops. And again, the same amount of Pyro Flame Daleks. I believe the, uh, the Dalek drone there is just hiding the fact that there is another Pyro Flame Dalek there. So, all in all, I've got seven of these Daleks here. And I've got another nine of those. So that means, well, 16 Daleks, which is pretty awesome. Uh, let's just go back around to the middle. So having 16 Daleks all from the same set means I've bought the set, what, four times at least, and I've got a set somewhere here, mint sealed in its packaging as well. So I've definitely been busy buying these Daleks, spent about 500 pounds to be completely honest with you, but I think it's worth it. I absolutely adore these Daleks. I uh, always wanted to have them when I was a kid, when they first came out and wasn't able to. So I was kind of really relieved that I was able to, you know, go ahead and buy these online when I did. So thanks for watching and a very special thanks to my VIP patrons, that's Finley and Chris TJ who asked me specifically to review this video which is part of the perks that he's unlocked, so there you go buddy, I hope you've enjoyed this one and thank you everyone else for watching this video, if you do want to become a patron then please check the link below and hopefully you won't be disappointed. Until next time, take care, goodbye for now.